Hey guys, this post is from myself and also from Beth Major. It is essentially about mental health and how we all can struggle with it in various ways, shapes and forms. So I'm first going to read this piece of writing by Beth Major and it's for one of her friends very particularly. Um, this is the post. Depression is a condition, not an excuse. When life is good, you doubt yourself. Why should it be perfect when you're not perfect? And yet you try so hard to be. Just imagine an empty room. The walls are black. They are closing in. It suffocates you. Bleeds all colour from your eyes. You're in chains. And you can see the key. It's in front of you. Yet you don't take it. You have a window in this blackened out room. And as you look, you see your smiling, laughing, looking like you're having the time of your life. But your wretched soul rattles the chains in this blackened out room. As you wrestle with your inner turmoil, am I enough? Something white is pushed under the door, an envelope containing a letter. You want to read it, but you're sat there, looking at yourself, going through the motions of being happy, and you're so tired of trying. You see the key, you reach for it. You unlock the chains and walk towards the door. Outside you hear yourself again, playing with your son. He has a cheeky laugh. You pick up the envelope, sit down, hands trembling. You read the words written by someone who loves you. Hi, it's me, depression. I'm so sorry you feel you have to hide away from the world at times. I don't mean to cause you pain. I do realise that you and I just have to live with each other. But I'm here to tell you that it's all right. You can leave this blackened out room. You don't have to stay. Because you are enough. You're loved. Even by me, your depressive friend. But I'll make you a deal. If you help me, I will help you. We have got this. Sometimes you might need me, and that's okay. And sometimes you won't, and that's okay too. Believe it or not, I just want you to be happy. Some won't make it, and I have to be there for them. But I don't think you need me as much as I need you. It's okay to let me go now. I won't be offended. Honestly smiley face depression tears roll down your face as you hear your son call he's looking for you now rushing to the door you open it and immediately the colour returns as you step out he shouts mummy he throws himself at you and you hug him tight and laugh like it is the first time you have ever laughed. It feels real. You are real. And you have a secret friend. His name is Depression. And sometimes he may call. Sometimes he won't. Because you will be living your life. With all its highs and lows. Fire in your heart. Open your eyes and see what you have, for you have 
everything. Depression is my friend by Beth Major and that was written for Meg. It gets better. That's a really strong message and there's no dispute in the truth in the words that Beth's written there. We can all pretend and hide from anxiety, depression and so many other conditions and labels that people can choose to put upon us. The fact is it's down to us to cope, to seek help if we need it and there are many many great places to go. You can start with your local GP, give the Samaritans a call and numerous other organisations that you can reach out to. Now this poem is one that I written to go along with Beth's piece. It's called Scars. Scars. The scars are no less real because you do not see. What is inside is not always that which others believe. To be alone and fearful of everyday situations. Waiting in line causing more than a little frustration. Inability to share or communicate thoughts or hurt. Edging closer again to the place where there was pain. Unable to build again for the scars inside scream. No tablet from a prescription that can give a cure. Few places to speak for they do not know the curse. That which is suffered in an instant from days long gone. Unable to move the forms and faces that left this soul burned. Those are dark days when the smile only hides the tears. Though the past is just that, it can still bring forth rage. For what was so free was taken and in place formed a cage. Nothing to do now but to carry on and find light and peace. For the scars never heal, but with truth we can slay the beast. Thanks for listening and remember Share, speak to people, don't be alone, you're only alone if you wish to be alone, reach out, open up, get help if you need it, my love to you all, thank you.